Hello everyone, welcome to Let's DevOps. I am Sumit and today we are going to discuss about how to set up a GitLab runner for a CI-CD pipeline. So for all the demo and discussion, I'll be following this article. You can find the link of this article in a video description. So let's start. First is introduction. So in this article, we will mainly learn what is GitLab runner, how we can set it up and then further how we will use in a pipeline, in a CI-CD pipeline. Now coming to what is GitLab Runner. GitLab Runner is an application which helps to execute jobs in a pipeline for a CI-CD. So when we set up a pipeline, we define list of steps or a task or a command that needs to be executed. So GitLab Runner helps to execute them. Okay. Now coming to why we need a GitLab Runner. So assume that you want to configure your own build machine, then in that case GitLab Runner will be helpful and why we need to have a, our own build machine. So in some cases, if your application needs some software or some prerequisites or some dependency that needs to be installed before the build or a deployment executes, in that case, you configure your own machine, you install all your software or application or a dependency, and then you want to have all your pipeline executed on that machine itself. So that machine can be your on-premises machine or a cloud hosting machine. So in this scenario, basically we need GitLab Runner. Coming to the types of runner. So there are mainly two types of runner. One is GitLab Runner, which we are already discussing. And second is a runner SaaS. And what is the difference, right? So GitLab Runner is something that a machine that you wanted to make an agent or a build machine that we configure as a GitLab Runner. Runner SaaS is nothing but a machine which is already provided by GitLab. You just need to use it. You don't have to do any configuration. So how we use GitLab Runner and how we use Runner SaaS. So whenever we define our pipeline, if you want to use GitLab Runner, you need to define the tag in the YAML. I will show you that in a demo. But for a SaaS Runner, you don't have to, you just need to, uh, no need to define the tag. When you keep the tag information empty, it will automatically pick it up from the GitLab, GitLab Cloud. Okay. Now coming to the runner scope. So runners are available based on who you want to have access. So assume that when you set it up a runner, you can define with a multiple scope. The first is called a shared runner. Second is group runner and third is a specific runner. So shared runner, whenever you provide or set up a machine as a shared runner, that will be available for all the GitLab projects and groups. But if you wanted to make it only available for a specific, all the project, but a specific group, then you define under the group runner and a specific runner is nothing but if you want to set up a runner and you wanted to only have access to a specific project GitLab project then you define that or you scope that runner as a specific runner. If you want to know a little bit more about it you can always uh, follow this link. This is a GitLab uh, uh, documentation uh, site. Here you can uh, find more details because this uh, session is mainly how to set up a GitLab uh, runner so that's the reason i'm not going in deep but if you have a, if you are interested you want to learn more about it you can always refer this link now coming to the architecture so if you see here uh, first of all whenever we set up a runner it can be a multiple or a different operating system so whenever you set up for a windows you need to follow some different setup instruction if you want to have it for mac os linux and freeos so basically you set it up a runner for a multiple op operating system and each uh, runner will be associated with a GitLab and that runner will be again used by CICD. So that is the whole idea of it, right? So once you set, first you set it up the runner, then you associate that with the GitLab and further you can use that in a CICD, okay? Discuss how to set up a GitLab runner. To set up a GitLab runner, we need to first install the runner and then we need to register with a GitLab. So these are the two different tasks we need to perform if you want to make any machine or system to be a GitLab runner. The first is install runner and the second is to is register runner. So let's go one by one. So before uh, starting the installation, uh, you first need to have your uh, machine or a system handy so that you can uh, perform all these tasks. In for the demo, I'll be uh, I'll be using my own system. Uh, this is a Windows machine. Uh, I'll show you how I can uh, install the runner and then how I can uh, register with the GitLab. 
so you can uh, follow the same for your uh, your own machine and it can be your windows uh, linux or a mac os anything okay so let's go one by one so let's start with the install runner so i'll be following all the step one by one so stop step one says uh, we need to go to the gitlab project and under the setting ci cd we need to go to the runner section so let's go let let me log into my gitlab project and then i will log into my demo project sorry and as per the instruction we need to go to the setting ci cd and under that we should see the runner so i can see that okay let's follow the second step step to say that uh, we need to download the gitlab runner uh, specific to the required way so assume that uh, i'm giving the demo for windows if you want to install for a different operating system you just need to uh, click on here and i think here you can see for the windows but if you want to go for a dock or a mac os or linux you just need to follow the instruction from this okay so i'll show the uh, show the demo for the windows so here uh, i will uh, download that exe uh, so this is so okay and then uh, i'll copy the step says, uh, three third says that we need to uh, copy the downloaded uh, gitlab runner exe to the system where you want to configure the runner so in in my case i am setting up on my own system so uh, once this exe is downloaded i need to uh, copy that in this folder you want to copy in a different folder also but uh, this is this is how i have configured so i'll show that so i'll just go ahead and uh, copy the exe to this particular folder okay now you you can see uh, uh, the gitlab runner exe i have uh, copied here let me go back here and so step 4 says that we need to run the cmd as an admin so i'll run the cmd as admin and here it goes and then i will go to that uh, respective folder cd runner okay i'll just expand this so now i'll make a direct so now i can see uh, my ex is already in there let me go here and then we need to just run this command so basically we need to run this uh, uh, gitlab runner.exe with the install so with this i think it will uh, install a windows service on on a system so i'll just go gitlab exe and then install so this this step has been completed now let me go here let's go to the services and verify whether it, the service has been installed so let me go to the services and let me see if we have gitlab now okay now you can see i have the gitlab and then i can start the service with the this command so gitlab start okay okay now let me see and refresh it okay now it is running so the installation part is uh, completed okay so now coming to the register runner so after the successful installation uh, of a runner now we need to register it with the gitlab so that gitlab will be able to communicate to that uh, uh, the gitlab runner itself so to make that communication basically we need to register that so again uh, for a different operating system we we have a different instruction uh, if you if you are using a different operating system you just need to follow this url here you can uh, find for a different uh, operating system instruction how basically you register your gitlab so for a windows i will show uh, because i have installed on the uh, windows machine so now i will try to register so step 1 says that we need to run this command so register so i'll just follow this okay so sorry so register so now it is asking uh, the gitlab instance so let me go to the instruction so the gitlab uh, detail we can uh, find it from our gitlab project itself so okay where i am here and it is saying that we can get this uh, runner and then the url so i'll just copy uh, those details from here okay and uh, okay 
this, so I copy this and then I will go to the Now it is asking for the registration token. So registration token also can be found in the in the same uh, same place in the specific. So I'll copy that from there. Now I've copied that and uh, let me place it here. So now it is asking for the uh, description. So let me just say that our demo machine for GitLab. So uh, now we need to provide the tag information so tag is very important with this tag only uh, we will uh, uh, provide this information to the gitlab yaml pipeline uh, so this is very important and that i'll show you also how you can use it so assume that if i'm giving this as a windows runner, runner. okay let's say here let's say demo okay now it says that uh, uh, we need to enter that executor. So for our power cell, we just use a cell. So I'll use a cell. And now if you see here, uh, it says that uh, the runner registration successfully completed. Let me go and check uh, the further steps. So yeah, we need to enter the tag that I did it. Uh, okay, so I have added for the Windows uh, runner. I should do it with the, but you can have your own tag name also, uh, that's fine and then execute and then we need to verify the runner so we need to, we can verify the runner in in through that uh, the section itself so if i refresh it i should be able to see the runner yeah so i said i'm able to see this runner right a demo machine for gitlab so this is the tag tag is very important because those tag only you can use it in uh, the, the pipeline okay so I think that's all uh, for the registration. So once uh, once that your uh, uh, your runner appears here with this uh, the information of uh, while registering you have given this instruction right or information. Once it appears here, you you'll be able to use that runner. Now let's see how we can use the installed GitLab runner in a YAML pipeline. So if you see, this is a sample YAML pipeline file uh, where we first define the stage and the second is the we define the job. Under job, we define the tags. So this is a, a very important uh, kind of a keyword that will be uh, helpful for calling your GitLab runner. So since we created the runner with the tag Windows runner, I will just uh, go uh, and run the pipeline from there. So this Windows demo also you can give the tag, but in my case, I've just given a Windows runner. Right? So I'll just copy this and I'll edit my pipeline. So here I will just say, and here uh, instead of Windows demo, I will just uh, date to the runner, right? And I think I will commit the change. Let's see the the pipeline execution. Okay, now you see it 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 got fail I guess. Let's see the error. Okay, so this is a kind of a common error uh, it, where it says that uh, this PWSH is uh, executable file not found. For, to solve this error, uh, we need to we need to uh, change that, uh, the, uh, the, the TOML file, I guess, yeah. We need to change the TOML file uh, with the PowerShell because we are executing on a Windows. So I'll just go ahead and change the TOML file. The TOML file you can uh, find in the same folder where we have copied or installed that um, uh, the the GitLab runner. So I'll just edit this, and I will change this uh, PowerShell to PowerShell, and I'll save it. And to make the changes, I'll just restart it. So I'll stop the service, and I'll start it again. And let's uh, try to run the pipeline again. Okay. So I'll just make a change, a small change. I'll just try to add a, a new write host uh, let me edit here only right. so let me add a write host
commit the changes now and let's see the execution whether it is succeeding now or not so i'll go to the cicd and then the pipelines and here it says uh, you can see it's running currently uh, let's wait for this to finish i think it will not take much time so, so now the execution is completed and you can see uh, the pipeline is also running and it is picking the right GitLab runner. So this is uh, the information of my GitLab and uh, and this is that uh, the, the print information we just added. Okay, so to use that uh, the GitLab runner, you need to use the tag. And that's how we define uh, or discuss also in the beginning, right? Uh, if you want to use uh, GitLab runner, uh, you need to provide the tag to CI. And if you don't want to provide or don't want to use the GitLab runner, if you want to use the SAS, then you don't have to define any tag. So I'll, I'll show you that also. So I'll assume that if I am going to change that file. So if I don't want to use my GitLab, in this case, I'll just try to remove, I'll just try to comment or remove it. Let's remove it only. And let's see uh, which, uh, whether it is going to pick up our uh, GitLab agent or it is picking the something else. So by the design, it should pick uh, the the SAS, the SAS agent or runner. Sorry. So if you see here, it got uh, it, it is like picking up the Docker image. Uh, I think that is from uh, uh, from the GitLab itself. Uh, come on. Okay. So because uh, I have added the the right host and that is for uh, the PowerShell the Windows. That's the reason it did not pick the, the correct. So it's because it is a Docker image. Let me change uh, the eco host with the uh, the echo command right host with echo command wait let me remove this echo okay. and then okay let's see the pipeline okay now it's running So by the execution, you can see it, it, it did not pick up the our uh, GitLab runner. It picked the the, the GitLab hosted uh, runner, that is a SAS runner, and it is printing that information. So so that is a very important thing that you need to use the tag if you want to use your uh, uh, GitLab runner. So and this is how you de you need to define, okay? Under the tag, you need to define, and this tag information you can always get it from the uh, the, the setting. The CI CD, and then under that you will have a runners, and from here you can uh, get all those information. So I have assumed that I have a multiple configured Windows uh, runner, sorry GitLab runner, and these are the like the tag. You can define multiple tag as well uh, for the same uh, instance, but this is how we we define. So let's go to the steps. So okay, so I think that's all for the for this discussion. I hope you. Uh, it, I hope you like this video if you like it uh, please uh, share it and subscribe to my channel and if you have any issue while your uh, configuration or a setup you can write it in a comment box i'll be happy to help thanks for watching this video again bye bye have a good day